Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under the jQuery UI video tutorial series that we've been going through so in the past couple of videos in this entire playlist so in this video tutorial we're going to be taking a look at another widget which is provided in jQuery UI library which is known as the accordion widget now if you don't know what accordion is basically in simple terms it is sort of like a drop down system which encloses a particular division or paragraph inside it and when you click on it it expands and then you have a stacked scenario wherein you have this stacked collection of these divisions which are initially closed and when you click on it it opens up okay so you've pretty much seen this in modern websites and this kind of scenario can be done via this accordion widget which is provided in jquery and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video also if you have missed any of the previous couple of videos wherein we discussed different jquery ui widgets like the calendar control or tooltip you can check out this entire playlist and i'll drop the link of the entire playlist in the video description or you can check it out on this channel itself and with that being said let's get started so if you've been following this playlist this is something that we've been doing in the previous couple of videos we have our entire html body we have the head tag we have our custom css and then we have the three different css files which come in from the jquery ui library at the bottom we have the jquery core library and below that we have the jquery ui core library and all of this we have downloaded offline into our code structure so you can see this is the file structure and now let's get back or let's come into the body section let's actually type in some code so i'm going to say h3 i'm going to say accordion example okay so for this i'm going to create a division i'm going to say id i'm going to say panels so we'll use this id when we want to convert this entire division structure into an accordion structure so we'll see how it works in a minute inside this i'm going to create so let me just first change this to h2 inside this i'm going to say h3 i'm going to say telesco learnings right now just follow along with me just code along with me and you'll understand what's going on in a minute below that i'm going to say p which is paragraph tag i'm going to say telesco learnings is one of the largest tech educational youtube channels in india now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this h2 and paragraph tag and just actually paste it two more times here i'm going to change the telesco learnings name to simple snippets which is my channel i'm going to say simple snippets is an upcoming tech educational channel with more than 30 key subscribers which is kind of like the current count that is on 3rd of january 2019 if you're watching this in future definitely it would be greater fingers crossed <laughs> so yeah simple snippets is an upcoming tech educational channel with more than 30k subscribers okay and for the last one let's change this to mkbhd which is marcus brownlee's channel so this is one of my favorite channels Okay pretty cool right so now currently you can see all these changes happening and you can see on the website that these are laid out pretty much like heading and then paragraph heading paragraph right so we want to convert this into a pretty cool looking accordion style user interface so how do we do this so all these things are enclosed inside this division which is given by id panels so let's try to change that so i'm going to say dollar i'm going to select the panels using the id selector in jquery i'm going to say dot and i'm going to say accordion and as soon as i hit this accordion you can see in the screen in the ui the entire header and paragraph hierarchy has been changed into this cool looking accordion so what exactly happened is the heading tag becomes the heading of the accordion and the text that is the paragraph becomes the text inside so if i click on this you can see telesco learnings got closed up and this got expanded similarly if i click on mkbhd this one gets opened up and others get closed up So this is so cool right just by one line of code we got a completely different user interface and now this is usually done when you want to save some space right so let's say you have 10 more heading tags and paragraph tags if you don't have this let me just show you how it goes if i just copy paste it multiple times you can see the entire website is filled up right now if i just again uncomment this all these things are nicely stacked in these cool accordion heading tags and when you click on them they expand up right So you can see we are saving a lot of space also and this is more user friendly it looks pretty nice and this is what an accordion is okay so if you don't know now you know what is an accordion and let me just come back to these three elements 
So now if you're wondering how this accordion works, what exactly is happening is when I'm selecting this entire division. So this entire division has all these heading tags and paragraph tags as their immediate child classes, right? Or their child elements. So what this accordion method does is currently we are selected the panels division. So this accordion method in jQuery UI goes and checks out this entire division. It sees that, okay, inside this division, we have the first block level element. Now, before we move ahead, block level elements are elements inside which we put in some content. Okay. So division, section, heading tag, paragraph tag, all these things inside which we wrap some other content are block level elements. So the other type of elements are inline elements. For example, if I add a B tag to make things bold, so you can see this goes along with the text, right? So these are not block level elements. That is the bold tag or italic tag and something like that. So those kind of elements are not block level elements. Block level elements are elements which we enclose some content inside. If you want to know more, I'll drop some link which gives you the more explanation on what are block level elements in HTML. So yeah, coming back to the explanation, what is happening is this is the main block level element. So we are converting this entire block level element into an accordion, right? So the method goes in and checks in. Okay. It takes the first immediate child element, which is a block level element and it converts it into a title and it takes the next child element, which is a paragraph over here and converts it into the content of that accordion. So if you're thinking that this has to be heading only compulsorily, so that's not the case. So it works on all block level elements. So if I just change this to division also, even then this code will work and even then nothing changes. So I could have changed this to division and changed this to division also and still things would have been the same. But just to actually be more readable, I made it heading and then paragraph, heading and paragraph. So that you can see that this is the heading and inside that we have the content which is inside paragraph. But the working goes as follows. That is the first child element. That is the block level child element. The content inside the first block level child element is converted as the title. The second one is converted as the content of that title. Then the third one is again treated as a title. The fourth one is treated as the content of the title and that thing goes on. Okay. So if I didn't have this one last heading tag, you can see that the content was itself converted to the entire title. And then since there is nothing below over here. So if I just paste this again, so that becomes the content of that title. Okay. So that's how it works when it comes to accordions. And now we also have a lot of customizations with accordions, just as we had customizations with tooltip and calendar control and any other widget in jQuery. So let's see what those customizations are. So as you can see, when you first call this method and when you convert these divisions and H2 tags into this accordion, the first one is open, but when you click on it, it is not closing. So to close that, you have to open another one and the first one closes. So what if you want that when you click on this one also, it should close, right? So you have to change that into the customizations. And when you come into customizations, you have to give those customizations in curly braces and just hit enter. And you have to give them in key value pairs so that this is something that we've been doing in the previous couple of videos also with different widgets. So the first one is collapsible and you have to say true. So by default it is false. So now if I click on this, you can see it is collapsing. So expand and you can see collapse. So one more customization that you can add is right now your accordion is working on the click event, right? So when you click on individual headings, their respective content is expanded but what if you want it on hover okay so you just want to hover onto it and then it should directly open and not on click event so you can do that by changing the event so you have to say event colon you have to give this in double quotes and this is i guess mouse over so let me just see if it works M O U S E over so let's see and yeah you can see as soon as i'm hovering i'm not clicking over here i'm just hovering onto it and immediately the respective accordion is collapsing onto which you're hovering. So let's just change this to click back. Okay. Let's see what are more customizations that you can do with accordions. So when you click on any of the heading, you can see there is a small animation which is going on. This is a smooth animation when it opens up and when it closes. So you can increase the duration of this time. So just go and say animate colon give 2000. So it will take two seconds for it to open. So if I click on it, you can see it's slowly opening up and slowly closing up. So 2000 is in milliseconds. So it means it takes two seconds for the complete animation to happen right now. Let's just keep it 300 milliseconds. So that's very fast. So one more thing that we can change is you can see initially when you create this accordion, the first one or the first block is always open and not the second one and not the third one. 
But what if you want that the second one should be open? So for that, what you have to do is we have to specify that which index should be open. So for that, we have active colon and indexes we know in computer systems in programming usually starts from zero. So when you say one is the second one, which is going to be open. If I change this to two, you can see the third one is going to be open. If I keep it zero, the first one is going to be open. So let's keep first one open, which is simple snippets block as open. So one thing that I wanted to add over here is let's go and add some more text over here. I'm just going to type in some more text over here. I'm going to say simple snippets was started three years back. And uh, let me add some more content. I'm going to say Anmay Sakpal is the founder of simple snippets and some random stuff that I'm just putting in right now because I want to demonstrate something. Okay, so what is happening right now over here is you can see that as I'm adding more and more text, this content area is increasing and we have selected the second one that is the simple snippets block as the active one. Now, if I hover onto this MKBHD block, if I just click on it, you can see that the size of this MKBHD block is much larger than the content. If I click on Telusco learnings, you can see that the text is only this much, but then it is expanding a lot larger than it should, right? And this is happening because the content inside simple snippets is the largest, which has a lot of content. And that's why it is taking so much space. And since it is selected as the active one, this entire block size is applied to this block size also and this block size also. But this is not something that we want, right? So you'll say, okay, change the active tab, right? So I'll change active type to zero. So now what is happening is even though I'm changing the active type to zero, still you can see extra space is being wasted because simple snippets tab has the largest content and it requires this much space. So that same space size in height is applied to the Telesco learnings block and the MKBHD block also. So how do you change this? So this can be done by actually turning on a property which is known as height style. So I'm going to say H E I G H T S T Y L E and note that this is case sensitive. So the first letter starts at small caps, but the second letter always starts with large caps. So S is capital over here and I'm going to say true. And when I do this, now you can see that only that much space is occupied or the height of the block is adapting to how much content we have. So if we have more content, the height of the block is increasing. If we have less content, the height is not increasing a lot. So it is dynamic in nature. Okay. So coming to the last customization of this tutorial, we have actually a lot of customizations that we can do. And obviously I'm going to drop some links to the official documentation of this accordion, wherein you can see all the different types of customizations. But for this video, let's stick to this last one for now. And you can see that this arrow is an image actually. So when you click on it, some other image is loading. When you click on it, the arrow direction changes. So what if you don't want this image or this icon? Now we know that jQuery UI also consists of CSS. So we know that we have separate CSS of jQuery UI library and we have separate JavaScript. But we also know that jQuery UI also has images. So all these icons come in from those images folder. So if you just go to the folder structure in the jQuery UI, you can see we have images, right? So these are those images which are having those small, small icons. So we can change these icons also. And let me just type in the code. Okay. So I've already typed in the icons code and let me just explain to you. So the icons attribute or property is a complex property, which consists of two different parts. One is the header attribute or sub attribute you can say, or sub property you can say and active header sub property. So the header property says which icon you want when the tab is not active. So these two are not active. So we have plus sign, right? So that is UI icon plus. And if you are thinking or wondering where this name comes, I'll drop a link to all the different icon names, which you can directly use. So you can go to their website. Actually, let me just actually show it to you. So as you can see on the screen, these are the different names. So I'm just copy pasting it directly from over here. In fact, let me just show you. These are the two that I'm using UI icon plus. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So I'm using UI icon plus and I'm using UI icon minus. So coming back to the code, this is the UI icon plus, which is over here when the header is not active and the active header has to have another icon, which is minus because we've already expanded it, right? So if I click on it, all of them are inactive. So all of them have this plus sign. If I click on one of them, it becomes minus. So you can use any of these other icons also if you like. And right now I've used this. So you can go ahead and experiment yourself. 
ओके सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज दिस वॉज अबाउट द अकॉर्डियन एंड दिस इज अ वेरी यूजफुल एंड वाइडली यूज विजिट यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस एंड मेनी वेबसाइट्स वेर इन यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द स्पेस मोर स्मार्टली एंड वॉन्ट टू शो रेलिवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डू गिव इट अ थम्स अप लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो वॉज एंड आई सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो पीस